we're going to start off by looking at components in cells. The first component we're going to look at is the nucleus. The nucleus is surrounded by a membrane um, to keep it separate from the cytoplasm and it contains um, DNA in the form of chromosomes and it, it controls the cell, it controls which proteins the cell is going to make. The next component we're going to look at is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is an organelle surrounded by a membrane that's found in um, all eukaryotic cells and this is where aerobic respiration happens, so where energy is being produced from for the cell by the breakdown of um, glucose. The next um, component we're looking at is the ribosome. The ribosome is where protein synthesis happens, so a message from the nucleus goes out to the ribosome and it turns this message into a new protein. The next one we're going to look at is the cell membrane, and the cell membrane forms the edge between one cell and the outside of the cell. Um, it controls what can go into the cell, it can control what can go out of the cell. Um, it has various proteins in it that allow things through and um, can pump things in, as we will see when we look at active transport and the like. The cytoplasm is the liquid that fills the cell and most chemical reactions happen here. We're going to now look at um, some of the plant organelles and the first one we look at is the chloroplast. The chloroplast looks similar to the mitochondria, it has a double membrane around it. Um, and this is where photosynthesis happens. So there's chlorophyll inside, it absorbs light energy and allows this to turn it into chemical energy and make glucose. The vacuole contains cell sap, it's a storage um, vesicle inside the cell and the cell can store um, sugars etc. inside of it. The cell wall gives the plant cell shape and stops it from bursting when there's too much water. So we'll see when there's osmosis. Um, it, um, provides structure, it's like the skeleton of the plant. 